hello there welcome to my channel welcome back to uh my channel for some of you guys some of you guys are doing well so this is your general your general love reading for uh july we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course the vice versa as well guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading it is time stamp whoops so if you click in the description bar below you see where it says start reading click on that and that will bring you to the uh start of the reading this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera okay I don't um, read reversals for those that are wondering why I'm like turning the cards around. Okay, so just clarifying. Like I said, guys, feel free to jump into the start of the reading unless you you want to. All right, so I'm going to take these in, and I'll do. So Leah, let's start the reading, and of course, um, guys, take whatever side resonates with you. Okay, I'm picking up. As this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always just flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So I will start by saying, you know, where this is leading, where you both start to, to move towards, I'm not sure whether you're both, both of you are even ready for what that entails. Um, so let me explain. So it seems like for you, we've got the 10 of swords just touching on the past. So it seems like there was some form of ending. It seems like you, there was someone or you, you're with someone or there's someone floating around. Um, for some of you, it's a committed relationship. For some of you, it's someone that you've been seeing for a while, dating maybe. Uh, but it seems like there was an opportunity to end that. Uh, so it seems like, I'm not sure whether that's, I don't feel like it's ended fully. No, it's definitely not ended fully, but there was an opportunity to end it. It's still needing to make a choice around that but still willing to move forward with this person. Um, there's a level of emotional maturity or stability. It's like I can handle maybe for some of you juggling two people at once or so you feel. Um, yeah, it, because you've got the six and we have the ace. Uh, the king of pentacles just kind of represents this, you know, establishing something. Um, moving towards this person with the intention of this Ace of Cups. When we're talking about the Ace of Cups, we're talking about love. So I'm not sure what you're playing at or what you're dealing with here, but we're going to continue. This person, I'm not sure whether you've communicated with this person. You communicated or they received some form of communication and it's like, okay, yes, so finally. It seems like this person was waiting on you to kind of get your stuff together in order for you both to move forward. But they're pretty, it was feeling pretty um cool about you know just how things are moving or how things started to move aware that you know we can't move too quick because maybe you've not 
finalized everything or whatever the case may be but there is this feeling of okay so there is some form of movement there's been a change but there's still that hangman so we can't move as quickly but there is this sneaky energy here as well there is this sneaky energy which brings us to where we kind of are at the moment you know you're showing up as the page which talks about having a strong pull towards someone and there is that there is that there's also an emotional connection that has been formed or is form it to the point where again i'm not sure what you're playing at leo but hey well, let's continue to the point where and this might not even be you know this might have just kind of happened if that makes sense um yeah to the point where you're thinking about the empress it's all about actually creating something with this person but we do have that three of cups in your phoenix so there is still this person around which kind of puts a damper on things it kind of puts you into this hermit mode of processing digesting analyzing figuring out getting answers trying to attain answers um but they at the same time they um, it ties back to this king of cups there is this level of strength or emotional stability or stability that you have when it comes to just dealing with the situation that you're in um you're not wanting to rattle this person or whoever this is you want wanting to, things to be you know fine you're not wanting things to be disruptive so it feels like you're kind of doing or feeling the need to kind of do what needs to be done in order for this other party that situation to be okay but at the same time wanting things to turn around your person there is this I mean they've already developed this or see you as you know, how do I put that? Because it's not, I don't want to say soulmate because it's its kind of more than that or different, slightly different than that. It's more about this. When we're talking about the high priestess, we're talking about awareness. We're talking about higher knowing about something. We're talking about intuitive knowing, talking about deep spiritual connection, that type of thing. So this person is definitely, there is a deep spiritual connection there, but there is this, again, we've got the hangman. We've got the hangman twice in this spread where is this where it's this i'm already in this connection with this person this relationship in my mind i'm ready to start this new chapter ready to embark on this new journey with this person towards this tent but there is this halt and they're not feeling too pleased about it they're not too feeling they're not feeling too pleased about it, the judgment card there seems like this person has gotten wind of and that might be because of you communicating that to them but definitely got this wind or information, let's say. That's so if you might not understand what I'm saying. Information about this connection and what's going on with you and this person and this not, you know, moving as quickly. There's a bigger picture that the will of the, the wild card there, which talks about, you know, seeing the bigger picture. So now they're in hermit mode or wanting to, you know, just go into deep thought about what they're doing and, and the choices they've made and digesting this and, you know, where is this going? Can this go in? Can this go? Are, they, are you going to turn back? Or, you know, is that type of, that type of thing. So I'm not sure, like I said to you at the beginning, based on where this leads to, and we'll move into the full read and uh, link is in the description bar below, guys, for some of you that want to um, come over there. But I'm not sure whether you're both aware of what that is, what, what that's going to entail. Maybe you are, maybe, maybe you're not. I'm not sure why I just get this feeling going back to you, Leo, when it comes to this other third energy. It seems like you attempted. I'm not sure why you can't finalize this ending or why you can't seem to put an end to this other relationship that you'd find yourself in in order for you to pursue this if that's what you really want. But, yeah, <laughs> um, let's see where this moves to. So, like I said, links in the description bar below, and I shall see you guys. 